Welcome to the Canadian Culture Series. My first dinner party in Canada. Ichen, it's a call from our homestay. Hello? Hi, Mira. This is Mrs. Smith. How are you? So good to hear from you, Mrs. Smith. I'm well, thank you. Ichen and I are having brunch. We should start a video call. That's wonderful. Actually, I'm throwing a Thanksgiving party next weekend, and I would love to have you and Ichen over for dinner. That sounds like a lovely time. Thank you so much, Mrs. Smith. Both of us will be there. But if it's okay, we would like to bring our own unique desserts. You both are so kind. Let's call it a Thanksgiving potluck party then. See you next weekend. Bye. See you soon. Welcome, Mira and Chen. I'd like you to meet my husband, Mr. Smith, and my nephew, Frank who's a chef in downtown Toronto. Happy Thanksgiving, Mira and Ichen. It's so nice to meet you. Thank you everyone for joining us today for Thanksgiving dinner. And thank you both so much for bringing in these delicacies for the potluck party today. Mira, your burfies look delicious. Ichen, you do surprise me with your culinary skills. The mooncakes look perfect. In Canada Thanksgiving is celebrated on the second Monday in October, however most people celebrate it on the weekend. Working at the restaurant has been so busy, and this is definitely a wonderful break from cooking. I get to enjoy all these delicious foods. The turkey and stuffing look scrumptious. And so does the pumpkin pie, mashed potatoes, gravy, and cranberry sauce. Frank, could you please tell us more about Canadian food etiquette? In Canada, food is generally seen as a fun social gathering, so it is usually approached in a more relaxed manner. You generally use the fork and the knife for most foods. If there are more than one of each utensil, work from the outside in. You are seldom expected to eat with your hands unless it is a finger food. Like pizza or hamburgers. Canadians like to relax and enjoy their dinner time. What about talking while eating? Conversations around the table are fine. However, eating with an open mouth or talking with a full mouth is considered rude. In Canada, meals are typically served in courses, right? Yes. It's common to have two courses, either an appetizer or salad and main dish, or a main dish and a dessert. It is appropriate to eat everything served at a meal, and your host will be pleased if you enjoy it. Finishing everything on my plate should not be a problem at all. My friends told me that servers at restaurants make a lot of extra money through tips. Is that true? Well, in Canada, tipping usually falls between 15 to 25 percent. In Toronto, 18 percent is most common for basic service, but for good service, anything around 20 percent is ideal. Remember to look if there is a service charge included. That means the tip is already included in the bill. Frank, since you're a chef at a restaurant, you are lucky to be enjoying good food all the time. What's your favorite Canadian food? That's a great question. My favorite is tourtière. A French-Canadian meat pie dish originating from the province of Quebec, usually made with minced pork, veal or beef and potatoes. Canada is such a huge country of diverse cultures, landscapes, languages, and histories. The indigenous Canadian cultures, known as First Nations, the three major immigrant groups, English, Scottish and French, and the subsequent waves of immigration of Asians, South Americans, and Middle Easterners have all influenced the Canadian culinary landscape between the 17th and 20th century. Wow. That's impressive. No wonder we see Chinatown, Little Italy, Greek Town, Koreatown, Little India and many more ethnic restaurants in Toronto. But Mira, I guess one of my favorite ways to try the variety in Canadian cuisine is through the food festivals that the city offers. Summerlicious, Winterlicious, Toronto Food Fest, Toronto Rib Fest, TNT Waterfront Night Market, Toronto Food Truck Festival, and the list goes on. 
These are some of the most popular culinary celebrations. Perhaps you and Ichan can join me and my friends. I can't wait to try beaver tails glazed with syrup, poutines, and so much more.